So if you take something like obesity, which can be thought of as a subclinical state of chronic inflammation, where you have sort of chronically elevated low levels of many inflammatory molecules in the bloodstream and also in the tissue, uh, and you look at that in the face of what cancer itself can induce, which is also quite a bit of tissue inflammation, inflammatory molecules in the bloodstream, as well as cancer treatment can also induce a lot of inflammation. So you have this sort of perfect inflammatory storm where all of these independent risk factors come together to create this pretty nasty inflammatory environment. Um, and a lot of the work that's being done looks at kind of the, the pinch points in these pathways. So where is it that, say, hormones that are increased in obesity, where is it that they act in cancer proliferation pathways? So where is it inside the cell? Or, or who is the player that may be regulating both of these processes? So by treating one, um, you can almost treat the other or you can see if there is um, a mechanistic way that they overlap.